I'm going to start this race day video by saying I have had an absolute nightmare. You are about to witness my best ever performance in a crit yet. And the first time that I was actually allowed to use a GoPro on the front of my bike. And I got to the end of the race and it didn't film anything. Thanks a lot. So I carried this round for nothing, but thankfully the wife was there to save the day and she still filmed some from the side. So not the footage I wanted to show you. I was hoping to show you the onboard stuff, but I'm still gonna try and make a cool video out of this, a little bit of commentary, cause I was super pleased with this performance. And I'm racing tomorrow at Goodwood. I have brought a new battery for my GoPro, so fingers crossed it actually works this time. So let's roll the footage. Here we go then, this is the Cat 3 for race at Redbridge Cycle Center with Team LDN Brothers, LDN I think it's called, and this race was full gas at the start. I'm not going to lie, it was similar to a cyclocross race when we started. If you didn't get clipped in, you were off the back straight away, but straight away, look at these two guys at the front. They just nuked it, right? And I was like, hey, I, I'm in for a tough one today. But um, they went off the front straight away. And you'll see coming up, this course has got a climb in it, so good for me. But you'll see straight away, these two lads have gone off the front. And I'm thinking, I don't know if this course suits a breakaway, so I'm just going to shut it down straight away. So I shut that down. I thought, I can't take any risks. I've been in the past where people have gone off the front and it's just been race over. So I thought, I'll shut it down a lap later. We're all back together. So yeah, this course, it's got this super tough climb. It's probably only about a 30 second effort, but it's quite steep. The camera don't do it justice. And then like a full gas descent down the other side, which you're going to see now. And it gets super strung out down here. And the amount of people I saw, like there was at least two people in this race that were on the grass flipping pure cyclocross it was absolutely legendary but you can see so really you've just got to put in like a seriously tough dig up the climb and then it and then I'll pause it here quick while I'm waffling on and then you get a little bit of recovery on the descent here but you can see here like a gap can get open so easily so six of us here have just gone off the front because of the climb but nothing really came of it. The gap wasn't massive and the peloton group shut it down by the time we got to the bottom of the next climb. So you can see we're all back together. I'm sort of at the front of the group. I'm feeling pretty confident on the climb today. There was then like a couple of laps where it stayed together, nothing much going on. And then more attacks started coming. So I think it's not this section here. You can see, look at that, super tucking. Woo! Look at that, aero gains. So about a couple of laps later, after that footage a minute ago, they are, I just missed it, I'll pause it back there. You can see a couple of guys are off the front and Sarah didn't quite catch it, but there's another two guys in front of these two that have got a gap. So I'm thinking now, we're halfway through the race, if something gets away now, there's a strong chance. So I come through here and I'm helping shut down the gap and basically we shut down that you can see here i'm still on the front i'm tucking down we spent a couple of laps trying to shut that gap down and then before you know it we shut the gap down i'm going to pause it just here we shut the gap down and we when i did shut the gap down the guy in the kingston wheelers kit at the back of this frame shot here was shouting like go 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 we caught him at like the bottom of the climb and we just kept the pace going and you can see me i'm like looking round because i've just realized your man's got in his first ever break i'm thinking i'm looking around thinking i've never been in a break in my life there's four of us now off the front and we actually had a fairly sizable gap so i'm off the front and the reason why i'm looking round is because i'm thinking this is going to go either one or two ways i'm going to completely blow my biscuit or there's a strong chance the four of us could stay away and I could have a good result here. So I'll play this. You can see us four off the front and we've managed to get a little bit of gap. I'll keep it playing because I think the peloton come through just a little bit. So that was the gap just on one climb. And then after that, we started working pretty well together as a four. We were rolling turns, but 
it was hell being in the breakaway. It was bloody brutal. Like, so there's four of us here working nicely together and we were we were making ground on the on the peloton i think they were probably reluctant to chase and burn all their matches and we were working well together so i think we had put probably about a minute into them now so i'll play this next clip we come up through there's still four of us off the front and i think this is for the bell lap here and I'm looking at Kingston Wheelers, mate. He's looking super strong. So is this the bell lap? Nope. Nope. But that's the peloton coming up. I've mucked that bit up, but I'm doing a one take on this commentary tonight. The next one is the bell lap. So you can see us coming up here. As I was saying, we've got about a minute. I'm going to play this full clip now. I was in the hurt locker. Being in the break isn't as fun as it looks but i'm going to play this whole clip so you can see the gap we have and fear not i've put power overlay for my sprint finish so as you can imagine we've got about a minute we all start looking at each other i really wish i had the front camera for this so this is the gap we had we start looking at each other no one wants to go on the front and i we got to the bottom of the climb and I just decided to go early and absolutely nuke it. So you can see we probably had about a minute on the peloton and it was massively reduced now. But here's my numbers. So I've paused it here and you can see I've gone early. I've absolutely whacked it. And I'm thinking today is my day. I'm pinning it. I've never been flying or putting out so many watts in my life without sounding big headed about it. But here we come. And I just went a fraction too early, blew up, and I got done by half a wheel. Half a wheel. But I'll show the little bunch kick as well coming up through. That is the peloton just finishing up. And it ended up second place for me. My first podium in a crit. Couldn't believe it. Look at that. Top effort. But honestly, I came away, I was absolutely gutted that the front camera didn't record because I thought to myself after, I may never be in a break again. And this would have been, I mean, it would have been a great video for me to make, but it'd have been great to share with you what it took to get in the break and what it was like being in the break. I'm not going to lie, being in the break was hell. I've always watched and thought it'd be mega to be in a break. It ruined me. I was off the bike the next day because I was just in an absolute state because it is just full gas. Like you've done 20 minutes. We were in the break about 20 minutes and you're just doing through and off and it really hurts. And every time up the climb, it was full gas and it was just painful. But I'll share some of my numbers, pop them up on the screen as I couldn't show you the full power overlay. But my average power for the race was 275 watts. My normalised power was 341 watts. So this was for a 43 and a half minute race. Um, average heart rate 170 and max 190. But what an experience being able to be in the break. It was absolutely mega. Loved every minute of it. Gutted to get pipped at the end. I blame this GoPro. This 200 grams up that climb. And the fact that I wasn't even in the drops for the sprint. Because I'm a terrible sprinter. But it was just, I just didn't have the legs at the end. But that last 20 seconds was 912 watts average. I've never done that in my life. I don't know where it came from. I think it's because I thought this camera was on the front and I was going to do something heroic power wise and take the win but the boys in the break with me absolutely mega ride from them like we all worked well together they smashed it it was quality thanks for team brothers ldn for putting on that event and the most devastating bit for me is that course is like my dream crit course there's a climb fast descent but it's a two hour drive from my house so it's just I think it's that little bit too far for me to go each week because they have a Thursday night series. But I'm going to try and do a few more because it was absolutely wicked. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And next time, hopefully technology is on my side and we'll have some onboard footage. And hopefully I can perform like that again. It's good wood for me tomorrow. So fingers crossed for a good result. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.